Hi everyone, it's Nelda. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking this video. I hope you're all doing well. It's November the 12th and today is my turn to present my project for this amazing Christmas collaboration hosted by Rich and Bella Crafts. Each day, there are two crafters presenting the topic assigned by Rachel, giving you lots of inspirations and tips, as well as the opportunity to learn something new or just go back to basic. If you have not followed this collaboration, it is not too late. Just type hashtag ChristmasCraftOf23 and you will find the amazing channels who already participated and I hope that you join us because this is a lot of fun and Rachel really worked hard to organize this, to put this together for you. There are wonderful prizes to be given away at the end of this collab. I believe over 50 fabulous prizes, meaning 50 chances to win. All you must do is watch all videos, interact by liking and commenting, and if you could please, also subscribe to each channel. That will help us a lot. I am very happy to be partnered with Miss Angela Kerr today as I am a huge fan of Angela and we are presenting our interpretation or our take on recipe cards making memories. So my projects today are very simple, very easy and fun. They are quick to make, great for beginners, but if you are already a seasoned paper crafter, I hope that you still craft along and add your own twist, jazz it up to make it more exciting and more beautiful. For this collaboration, Rachel created amazing kits to use. I actually printed most of them and I already used them in my project. In fact, I created this one signature journal using her fabulous Christmas kits. I will be giving away this journal at the end of the collaboration. It is not in Rachel's first list of giveaways yet because I didn't think that I could finish one and I did not message her in time, but she is updating her list. And yes, this journal will be in her new list of giveaways. So the projects that I will create with you today will embellish this Christmas journal. And at the end of this video, I will show you very briefly, very quickly how I incorporate these projects in the journal. Okay, so for the first recipe card, I will be using the following materials. A sheet from the kit and I chose the background page or the sheet from the background kit just because Rachel's um, pages are just all so beautiful and I don't want to cover them up. I also created recipe cards using canva.com. I have here also some fussy cut elements. These are from Rachel's fussy cut set. Her images are just gorgeous. So I already fussy cut most of the pieces and the edges are also distressed. I love each and every piece. These are just fabulous to add to any journal. I love her candle images. This is one of my favorites. And then I'll also be using ribbons and seam binding. Of course, glue. I'm using three in one. And my Crapadile Big Bite Punch. So you can use your all if you don't have this tool. Okay, so now that we have all the materials ready, what I'm going to do is glue down the pieces that I like to use. And it's hard to choose because they're all beautiful. But I chose the gingerbread piece. I also like this set of candles, maybe right there. And there's the Santa Claus ephemera. And I think it looks good there as well. And let's see what else. Uh, the bell is also pretty. Okay, so this can go at the back. This bell can go right there. And I think I'm missing something. Uh, a piece of fabric. Yes, I can add this piece of fabric or trim right there. 
make a cluster and add a gingerbread piece here and maybe a stamp okay this looks very pretty right at the back there okay so yes I actually like how this looks so I think I can use all these elements here what I am doing right now is just gluing down the recipe card to the base so it has ingredients methods prep time serves or how many servings I forgot to add here cook time <laughs> but you can add that to your own recipe card and just like that and this piece goes to the back so let's tuck this in right there and I think I need the bell or probably I like the candle set so I'll use this piece instead and just like that told you this is a very easy project <laughs> and very quick to make okay so I love these pieces here but I'm gonna stitch the fabric first and I'll be right back all right so this is stitched already and we can add the gingerbread piece and this stamp just like that if I had ready-made clusters or ephemera then I could finish this project more quickly but I don't mass make anything so that's why my projects take a little bit longer to complete but I find this is fun and I hope that you're crafting along I hope that you are enjoying this collaboration that you're watching all videos because every video is fabulous I have not missed anything yet I have not commented on most of the videos but i watch everything i watch every day <laughs> and i will watch again and comment on each and every video so i hope that you do the same thing okay so here's our cluster so i like the way it is and we can add something else i think i'm just gonna add a ribbon there so I'll use Big Bite again. If you don't have this tool, you can use your all, you can use any poking tool. And then this ribbon is very pretty. So this is what I will use here. Not very bright red, but it's um, like a darker kind of vintage red. <laughs> okay, and we will just make a bow. now. I don't mind the stitches there because I could cover it with lined paper or another paper from Rachel and Bella Crafts kit. If you don't have ribbons, you can use cords or embroidery threads, whatever you have at home. Okay, so let's make this prettier. Cutting the end there. And I think I like how this looks. There you go. Very, very simple recipe card. Blank on the back for additional writings and you can add ribbons on the bottom there. You can add lace. You can really beautify this simple project. For now, I will leave the back just like this. Here's another example. I have here 25 using my Dymo Express and the tag is from Rachel's kit, Snowman as well. This is another example where I use cords instead of ribbons. So let's find a home for these pieces. I think I can put it right there. This can embellish this page just like that. And this can go in this page. There you go. So very easy embellishments. Okay, what if you don't have that recipe card, the same that I created using canva.com? 
So what we're going to do is make another simple project and using a sheet again from Rich and Bella Crafts, pair of scissors, and lined paper. So same idea, we are going to glue down this piece or this lined paper to the base and I do not want to use the edge you can to add a little bit of uh, texture maybe but I am going to use this uh, deckled pair of scissors and sometimes it's hard to, <laughs> to use this pair of scissors especially if the sheet that you're cutting is very thin I could use an uh, index card, but I don't have it handy at the moment. So let's do this. Okay, kind of still need to be trimmed down a bit. All right. So same idea. We are also going to add a um, few pieces, fussy cut pieces. And then I think I am also going to use ribbon or seam binding. Okay. Let's distress the edges first. There you go. So I'm just choosing the elements to use here. I like that lift, that candle. There you go. I love the candles. <laughs> and piece of fabric again. I think I'm going to stitch it to the side. And there you go. So glue this down and decide which ones to use. Okay, there you go. But I'd like to stitch the line paper. So let's do that, there you go. And now we can add the small pieces. When I craft, I don't really overthink it. I just go with the flow. And sometimes it's um, an easy project. Sometimes I take my time, but for things like this, especially if it's going to embellish my journal, I really don't overthink it. I am going to add eyelets. So this is gold tone eyelets. I decided to add the ribbons to the bottom part just to make it look a little bit different from the first recipe card. But it's all up to you. You want to add the ribbons up top that's all right as well and I am using seam binding I think it's very pretty using my Dymo organizer express I will create the word recipe and this is one of my favorite tools when making labels very easy to use just turn the dial or the wheel to the desired character and once you selected the character you'd like to emboss firmly squeeze the handle and there you go just one squeeze until you finish your word and then there is a space bar that is very similar to the space bar icon or a character in your computer keyboard I'm on my last letter E so I'm going to select space and scissor to cut and there you go now we have the word recipe remove the backing and stick the label or the word to the page just like that there you go this is a very simple recipe card another version and then the back, I can cover all the stitches with lined paper. This is another example. So a cluster using the fussy cut pieces from Rachel. I added the ribbon here or seam binding and added the recipe. And we will find a place for this pieces. I think this looks good on this pocket. This looks good on this paper or on this page. 
here's an example of a recipe card with the recipe. So just cut the recipe, add some decorations, fabric, tags, brads. This uh, tag is from the kit as well. Added the Christmas button, the picture of the food, of course the recipe, and the fussy cut snowman. The back is decorated with lace and beautiful page from the kit and I could decorate the bottom as well. Here is a blank card where I can write the recipe and this is from Rachel's beautiful page and this again is from the one that I created using canva.com blank on the back for more writing another color so just more recipe cards so let's put them on this page. This looks good on this pocket. Just like that. And I think this can go in here and maybe this card can go on this pocket. There you go. Here are more examples of very easy to make recipe cards without embellishments except for tabs and ribbons, seam bindings and cords. So no decorations right there. I used my EK Success punch to create the tabs and added some charms. This piece is from Rachel's kit. And of course, these beautiful pieces are from the Fussy Cut Kit. I think this one is from my stash. And there you go. Very easy projects. And when you have the time, you can beautify them, make them more interesting. <laughs> These are recipes that I will add to the journal. I just added again tabs. And I will probably add charms. That's why I have the eyelets there. This is a tuck. I can add a picture of the food there. This is also a tuck. So I believe I can add those recipes in this page. Just like that. And just like that. So it's a pocket and top loading pocket and I have here the picture of the food and blank on the back so for more writing <laughs> and I could add this to this pocket just like that this journals go in here So I would say this is a recipe or Christmas recipe journal or recipe Christmas journal. <laughs> um, probably not both of them on this pocket. Okay, so maybe this can go on this page. Yeah, I like it. Next, I have here an envelope that Rachel provided and I added the policy closure and buttons there and I am going to fill this with very very simple cards so I'm gonna use this small index cards and this has to fit inside so let's trim this down and I'm not measuring I don't really measure <laughs> kind of eyeball everything and so I'm going to use my um, I'm using my other favorite tool, which is a corner rounder. This is a leftover piece. I love this girl and the Noel. So I'm going to use that portion and let's glue down this index card. So you can decorate this after, but I am not going to. I'm just showing you how to maybe fill an envelope with some cards course just fussy cutting and I'm going to also distress the edges 
to jazz up these pieces, you can add buttons, you can add uh, other fussy cut images, uh, ribbons, trims, but I'm not going to. I am just simply distressing the edges and they will all go inside this envelope. This could be small recipe cards, this could be any type of journaling card. So this is nice as part of a happy mail or just also an insert or an embellishment for a journal, but very simple, very simple to do. So just like that. This is also a small envelope from Rachel and see I have here line papers for more journaling and for more recipe writing. <laughs> <laughs> and I love all these images really. So for closure, I'm going to add this uh, cord or thread and we are going to just wrap this around and maybe tie a little bow. Just like that. Very, very easy. And Okay, so another thing that we can do to hold recipe cards is to make a booklet. So this is a booklet that I just made with um, snowflake charms and ribbons and trim, fabric trim to embellish. But very simple, easy to make, and inside are just plain index cards without any embellishments. So the images here are from Rachel's kit, but the pages can be embellished with fussy cut images, with envelopes or tucks, pockets. I am not going to do that now here, but um, this is something that you can do as um, a recipe booklet, but just giving you some ideas. So there you go, everyone. These are my projects for today's hashtag Christmas craft of 23 collaboration hosted by the beautiful and the talented Miss Rachel of Rachel and Bella Crafts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like this very simple, easy and quick to make projects. Please continue to support this amazing collaboration. And Rachel, thank you so much for inviting me to join I am having a fabulous time, so thanks again. And everyone, please don't forget there are amazing giveaways, over 50 chances to win amazing giveaways. So watch every video, like, subscribe to the channel, and comment. I am excited to see what Angela Kerr is presenting today, so I'm heading over to her channel right now. But if you could stay for a few minutes to just watch my flip through of the recipe Christmas journal that I will be giving away, that would be lovely. Again, thanks so much. God bless you. Bye now. Till next time.